Greetings everyone, Kenny here and I'm making a tutorial for all of you guys on how to create custom horns in Mania Planet. Either that be Track Mania or Shoot Mania, it doesn't really matter, it should work for all of the games. Now what I do or use for making horns is that I use a program called Audacity. You can grab this for free, I'll provide a link to the download in the description. So what I do is that I if whatever song or audio file you want. Now, I've chosen one here, it's called Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus, you've probably heard it, it's a very popular song. What I do is grab it and pull it and drop it in here, and now, this is the part where you start to feel that around with your horn. The rules about horns is fairly simple, it has to be under 10 seconds long. It can't be any longer and it has to be a mono format, it can't be stereo. So you need to choose a length of 10 seconds and save it as a mono file. So I just mark and delete what I don't want from the song and I'll find a, a suitable length or place in the audio track that I want and I'm holding left control and scroll wheel at the same time when I'm zooming. So you know. I came in like a Jesus that audio was loud. Let's just reduce that a bit so you don't die. And now, what I usually do is that to reduce the noise or clipping and distorted audio from the file, I just go into effects and mark it all with left control A, and I hit B, and well, I have the effect menu open. It should should it bring up bass and treble. Now, what I do is that I just reduce all of this, the bass, like a notch or two. That also bring down all of these spikes and this, the distorted sound, so you, the, your audio doesn't hear like, doesn't sound like some alien spaceship going into warp drive or something. So once that's done, this should be a lot I came in cleaner, like a at least a bit. <laughs> so now the next rule is that they can't be any more than ten seconds, and you see the, that this is a lot more than ten seconds. So what I do, usually, I, at least I do this because I think it's a bit, it's a lot better, is that I change speed. I just hit change speed, and I've got a standard setting of 1.2 times the regular speed. I just hit OK, and it should sound a lot cooler. I came in like a Indeed. So, now there's only one problem left, and we need to delete the rest of it so it doesn't uh, pre proceed 10 seconds. And now the most important part is that you need to split it. You just click on this, the drop down menu, and you split the stereo to mono. That's really important. Otherwise your horn won't work. So once you've done that, and some people just delete this, but it's not, it doesn't really matter. You just save it and we'll compress it down to one single mono file either way. So once you've done that, you can go, your horn is ready to go. You can just upload it to whatever service you want. I'll show that too in a bit. So you just go to export audio. And I'll do this, call it wrecking, whatever. And where should I save this? Yes, it should be in on your computer inside documents and there should be a folder called Mania Planet. And then you just scroll down to skins. It should be there at the bottom. And you go into horns. And inside here should be all of your horns. And now just save it. And you know, you get this error. Your track will be mixed down into one single motor channel. <coughs> Excuse me. And then once the file is exported, just hit OK. It doesn't really matter. Clear all this nonsense. And hit OK. Now your horns should be in that folder that you saved it in. So that will be Mono Planet, Skins, Horns. There it is at the bottom. Now, as default, this will only work for you unless you've port forward in Mania Planet. If you port forward, you'll just upload from your computer to the person in question. They will just download directly from you. So the way you can find your posts, you need to port forward if you just want to do it the simple way. So you just go into the launch of Ship Mania, you go configure, advanced, networking, and then you'll see P2P server port is set to default as 3450. <clears throat> now you know that. You can change that as well, but I'm not quite sure how that works. 
doesn't really matter. We are going to make a locator file anyways. So the service I use to make locator files, you see I've got a lot, loads of locators here and horns, is that I just use Open Drive. There are plenty of services that you can use for this, but uh, the most important thing about all of these services is that they have to provide a direct download link. That's the most important thing. So once you've got this uploaded, you can just hit this, links, and direct download. Copy that, open a new notepad uh, file, paste it, nothing else, just that, and you hit uh, and save as, and this is important, otherwise this won't work. It can't be saved as the TXT file, you just need to click the drop down menu and choose everything. I'm not quite sure what this is in English, but whatever. You <laughs> shouldn't be too many options here. It should be two options. So, and now the second most important thing is that it has to be called the same thing, otherwise it won't work. You should get the, uh, the suggestion up if you're in the same folder. So once you've got that, this should be called the same name with the file format. And then you hit at the end .loc. That should clarify to the computer that this is a locator file. It's meant to locate this file. Then hit save. Now you can double check that you've done everything correctly by going back into your folder. And you see here in the type format of your file, it says loc file. Then it should, in theory, work. So we can just hop back into the game and just check if it works. Let's launch your mania here really quickly. And I'll show you. You might have some, I mean, internal bleeding once I test this horn because this is fairly loud. <laughs> what you do is just go down to profile, go here, general horns, go to the end because I called it like W is the end of the alphabet, and hit open. Why didn't it play? I, I've already selected it. Oh, curse me. <laughs> yeah, it works. It works perfectly fine. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to ask me. I'll be happy to answer everything. Just shoot. I'm here. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. Please subscribe and like this video and share it to other players who doesn't know how horns work. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.